Hey, what's up? So, today we're gonna do a real simplistic video and I really hope you like it. Uh, I'm gonna be trying on socks that uh, somebody sent me off Amazon. I'll include the links down below if you would like to pick these socks up yourself. Um, I have a lot of people ask me about Amazon purchases and Amazon gifts and whether or not they're worth the money or they're a good deal and I feel like I haven't opened these yet. But I feel like this is gonna be a good this is gonna be a good deal. Especially since it was a gift, it's a great deal for me. But if you want to buy them, I feel like this would be a great deal for you. So let's get started. Okay, so if you're like me, you really like socks. Or new little feetsies. These feetsies need socks. They dress up your shoes, they're fun to wear around the house, they keep your feet clean so you aren't having to clean them all the time. Socks are great. I don't need to tell you that socks are great. If you're an adult, you figured that out. If you were a kid, you will figure that out. Okay, so I definitely did not run up my stairs with these scissors. It was more of a fast walk or a, or a jog. Anyway, don't judge me. Let's break into our socks, but first let's see what we have. We have a 18 pair set of Socletics. Now these were funny because they came in a plastic bag and it had a giant red label on it. I should have taken a picture that said, do not separate under any circumstance, which was great. I thought it was great. So what we're going to do is, is separate the rebels. All right, no one's here to arrest me. So I feel like it's okay to separate and wear these socks. So with these, you have an annoying plastic thing connecting them so that they can't separate. <laughs> I hate these things. They're the worst. They get lost in the carpet and you step on them and you hate yourself later. All right, let's see. Let's pull that little motherfucker out of there. Oh no, this is no longer ad appropriate. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of solid color socks. I like all of these. They look pretty cute. And then you have the exciting socks. Exciting socks. Flowers. Let's see, because I haven't seen these yet. I'm going to leave them uh, connected for now. Flowers polka dots, which are superior to flowers in, in every way. Oh, like tiger stripes, camouflage, leopard print, stripes, I like the stripes, oh, triangles, I'm a fan, clown socks is what I'm calling those, more flowers, yep, yep. More stripes, more triangles, and somehow these escaped. So we're going to try these on first, because they're survivors. Now, my room is a mess because I'm in the process of moving, so uh, excuse the clutter. Oh man, look at those socks. They are comfortable, not exceptionally soft, but these I, I would say are more like wear with your tennis shoes type socks. They're very thin. Um, you can see my toes peeking through. <laughs> but they're not bad. I mean, these were pretty cheap. I'll um, include the value at the end. So, let's try on a pair of the colored socks, too, just for shits and gigs. How about green? Because it's right on top. 
You know, uh, actually, these are softer. The solid socks are softer, probably because these, yep, these have all these strings and shit inside for the uh, design, because they're cheap socks, I mean, you get what you pay for. So, the uh, pattern socks, not super comfy. Solid socks, very comfy. Still not like crazy good or crazy soft, they're still very thin, um, which I actually was telling someone the other day uh, that he should buy girl socks if he wanted thinner socks. He was complaining about how men's socks are so thick that he doesn't like wearing them. Girl socks are generally thinner, so if you are a dude and you don't like how thick your socks are, try out some girl socks. Our socks are thin and not warm and meant to be pretty and... <laughs> Alright, well, these are just lovely. These I would wear around. So, solid colors, superior to designs. Alright, so we discovered Socletic Socks. Pretty okay. Pretty okay. Again, I'll link everything down below so you can check it out for yourself. Prices may change between now and when you see this video. You know, so. Or the item may no longer be available by the time you see this video. Alright, now, we have... Argyle socks out the ass. So, and then we also have these, which I'm saving for last because they feel the softest. All right, so the Argyle socks all came in one pack, and they are Miss Socks. Could have sworn they were Mr. Socks, but no. Lady Socks. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag Lady Socks. Alright, so let's uh, cut into these. There was no warning not to, so I feel extra comfortable breaking into these bad boys. Well, let's see, what color do we want to try on? Let's do this one, because it's got these pretty blue ones in here. That might be my favorite. The bane of my existence. These little plastic shits. Also got these little plastic shits on here, which um, would only be useful if you were selling them in a store, which, you know, I'm not. And I don't think you would be either, but maybe you would. I don't know. All right, now let's try these. These are super cute. I'm just going to go through show you the colors really fast. Just in this first set, though. Because when you buy them, or when you go look at them, uh, with the links, you'll be able to check out all the colors. Because they do list them all. Oh, be careful. There's little metal things in here, too, for some reason. All right, now, let's put on these socks. All right. They already feel more comfortable and softer than the Socletics socks. Let's do both. Alright, take a look. These are very cute. This is a uh, Definitely in tune with my aesthetic. I'm getting a battery warning, so let's just close that. Back to the socks. Yeah, no, they're they're comfortable. Again, not wonderful, just comfortable for daily wear. Um, they're not as bad as the patterned, uh, Socletics, so Miss Socks are winning a little bit at this point, but I think our last set is gonna be where it's at. 
All right, before we move on, I will show you the rest of the colors for the mist sock. I know I said I wasn't gonna, but I can't deny you anything. All right, so we've got red, white, and blue, if you're feeling patriotic. I like these, that's pretty. These are pretty neat. They all have this little metal thing that doesn't actually do anything, so I'm, I'm not sure why. Purple, pinky purple, pink, okay. And we've got the black ones, which I think I'm definitely going to like. That's a neat color. And then these. All right, so that's all the Miss Socks. Not Mrs. She's a single lady. She's a strong, independent woman that don't need no man, but does need lots of socks. All right, our last set is Tippy Toe. Tippy toe is by far the brightest and the softest feeling when I touch it with my hands. So let's see about my feet. Oh, and before we move on, definitely also has all the stringy bits inside for the miss, the miss socks. So that's why they're not super duper comfortable. That and it's a little bit of a scratchy material. These, however, not scratchy. Okay, so let's see. Handy dandy. Alright. Ooh, yeah, these are pretty. Uh, I really like how bright the colors are. The colors are bright in all the socks, so you might be thinking like, Alex, what are you talking about? They're all bright. But these just seem way more vibrant, and I don't know why. Like, maybe it's a higher quality dye. Um, I don't remember if these were more expensive or not. I don't feel like they were, but I could be wrong. Let's pull all our little plastic things out. All right, now we have, okay, and all the pairs are folded up together. So, they're just very vibrant and bright. They make everything else look dim and, and gray. So if you have colored hair like me, maybe, maybe stay away from these. I don't know, we'll have to see. Very cute, very pink. This set is very pink, but we also have these. So, and these actually don't feel soft. That's interesting. These are scratchy. Those are soft. So you'll get a mix of scratchy and soft if you get the tippy toe socks. Hmm. Yeah, these are the softest ones. The rest of them don't feel as soft. That's disappointing. Now it says machine wash warm on these. I wouldn't. I would machine wash cold, as with any vibrant colors, because you don't want them to fade or bleed onto your other clothes. Um, I would wash these separately. Like if you buy all these socks, which I understand. I understand you if you buy all these socks. Um, don't let anyone tell you you're wrong for loving socks. Eh. No? How did one come off but the rest didn't come off? Alright. I'll find the plastic pieces later. <laughs> Let's see. Let's find a softy. These are softies. So if we look inside, no stringy bits. Let's go all the way down to the toe, see if there's any stringy bits there. Nope, no stringy bits. So that's good. Again, they're very thin. You can see the skin color of my toes through the sock, but you get what you pay for. I love these. I'm wearing these today. Not just because I love blue. These are just very comfortable socks. Wow. That and my toes are fucked. I need a new pedicure, so I'm going to hide my janky little toes in these socks. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think for final thoughts, 
Um, these are my favorite. The um, tippy toe socks are my favorite. I think they're the best quality. Um, and if I remember correctly, they're all a very good deal. So tippy toe socks, number one. Um, I would say number two for comfort would be the Argyle Miss socks, but for versatility and cuteness, I still love these. Still love them, especially the solid colors since the solid colors were softer. So um, these were tippy toe said fits shoe size five to nine. Um, the they fit fine. I wear a seven or a seven and a half. Um, another one of these said, oh, here they are. The Miss Socks uh, fit size 9 to 11. I don't know about that because they fit my feet pretty perfectly. So I would say those are a little bit mislabeled. And then for the Sockletics, it's also 9 to 11. And I do not see uh, anyone with feet bigger than mine being comfortable in the Argyle Socks or the uh, tiny socks. So I would say if you have a bigger foot than size seven and a half or an eight, maybe don't get Miss Socks or Sockletics. Maybe stick to tippy toe, but in your size. Um, unless you like really tight socks. I like looser fitting socks as long as they don't like slide around. I like them to be just barely small enough to stay where they're supposed to stay. So that is my Amazon sock haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to review any products, you can send them to my PO box with a note, or you can send me the link and ask me um, to review specific products, and I just might. Uh, so thank you. Uh, thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And feel free to suggest video ideas because I am very new and very unsure of how to do all this. So have a great day. Love your faces. I stole that from Philip DeFranco. I don't know why I said that. And have a good day.